I'm Josep Fabriano, I'm the lead engineer of the NMX Beam Lab. And I'm Esco Oxenon, I'm the lead scientist for the NMX instrument. And uh, NMX is a macromolecular diffractometer that is intended for the study of uh, biological macromolecules such as proteins, and uh, particularly to locate the hydrogen atoms, which is very important information for, uh, for example, designing new torches. So the construction of the experimental cave is a nice example of uh, collaboration with our Incan partners. So the preliminary design of the cave was done here at TSS, while uh, the development of the concept and the shielding calculations were done in Hungary at the uh, Center for Energy Research in Budapest. Uh, the experimental cave was then awarded as a contract to a Swedish company who has then engineered it and uh, it's now actually being erected. So we are outside the foundation of the NMX experimental cave. When finished, this, uh, this wall actually will be 7.3 meters high and will host actually the instrument inside. Uh, our uh, shielding, uh, they are about 90 centimeters thick in concrete uh, and this thickness uh, basically is dimensioned by the very unlikely scenario that the full beam hits the detector. And it is all made in precasted elements in two layers and uh, uh, it reaches actually 90 centimeters in uh, thickness of uh, regular concrete. Uh, the surface inside is the load bearing area, so actually that will host the technical components and provides a stable support uh, for all our equipment. On top of that one, we will have a technical floor, uh, which actually will, uh, will allow personnel to enter and uh, circulate inside of the space. So we're standing just uh, in the correspondence of the uh, future sample position. The new beam will come from that direction. And the sample will be held by uh, a robot, which allows to position the, uh, the sample in the beam in uh, all the, the needed orientation. So that, that robot will be standing roughly here where I'm standing. And then uh, the detectors that detect the scattered radiation, uh, so collect the data itself, they will be positioned on uh, rails that will uh, be on these plinths here. You can see these concrete plinths on both sides. Uh, and these plinths support uh, the, the rails of the detector positioning robots, which are more than two meters high. So, uh, so they allow us to position the detectors all around the sample in a very flexible way.